Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, December 12th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And well, it's a patch Tuesday, so let's start with this Microsoft patched 39 vulnerabilities, 10 of which are rated critical. Now, one of the critical vulnerabilities was Adobe's Flash update, which was already released last week. So this just rolls this into the normal monthly update cycle. Now, in addition to this Flash vulnerability, which was apparently used against some hospital in Russia, Microsoft also patched a uh, Windows kernel elevation of privilege vulnerability that also was already used in the wild. In addition, there was a .NET framework denial of service vulnerability that also was already disclosed, but hasn't really been seen in active exploits yet. Now, the big winner here as usual is the Chakra scripting engine. It accounts for five of the critical vulnerabilities. The Chakra scripting engine is of course a Microsoft scripting engine that you find in browsers. So all of these vulnerabilities are accessible via malicious content in your web browser. The one vulnerability I don't really have seen much about, but I think that you should probably pay attention to is the Windows DNS server heap overflow vulnerability. That's CVE 2018-8626. Microsoft rate is critical with a CVSS score of 9.8, but considers exploitation less likely. Now, as far as patching priorities go, well, I would certainly prioritize all of these browser and scripting vulnerabilities. And like I said, uh, watch your DNS servers, probably expedite that particular patch a little bit. Now with Adobe already releasing this flash update last week, they only had the Adobe Acrobat and Reader patch for today. However, uh, that patch is uh, quite interesting in the number of vulnerabilities being addressed here. I haven't really counted them, but uh, looks like maybe 40 or so. Most of them reported by Trend Micro's Seraday initiative. So this may be part of the bounty they got uh, from the Pwn to own contests and the like. And at Black Hat Europe, a new paper was presented by researchers from the Fraunhofer Institute showing something that, well, uh, we probably all knew that the problem with TLS and certificates isn't necessarily the strength of your crypto, but certificate authorities. And what these researchers looked at in particular is how easy it is to possibly fake responses for certificate challenges. If you ever applied for a certificate, what often happens is that you apply for the certificate and then you receive an email or you have to drop a file on a particular server that is then verified to make sure that you have control of that particular domain. These are sort of your simple domain validated certificates that most of us are using. The problem here is that this entire validation process is subject to DNS spoofing. So if you are not protecting yourself sufficiently from DNS spoofing, then this particular validation process can be hijacked and the certificate may be issued to the wrong party. The particular vulnerability looked for here was a fragmentation. The way this works is that typically in DNS spoofing, you have to spoof the entire response. Well, uh, what they're actually doing here is they're not spoofing the entire response, they're just spoofing the IP header. And with that, they're then able to redirect uh, these uh, DNS requests and responses, uh, which then of course leads again to DNS spoofing without really having to worry about UDP ports and query IDs and all these sort of simple security mechanisms that have been implemented in DNS over the years. Now, the researchers tested 17 large certificate authorities. They say they covered over 95% of the certificate market and found that five of them are vulnerable. 
Now, the vulnerable certificate authorities are not named in the paper. The researchers themselves, uh, they propose something that they are calling domain validation plus plus, which is sort of an improved distributed scheme in order to validate domain ownership, which supposed to avoid these issues of being vulnerable to just simple DNS poisoning attacks. And well, uh, the zit for today. Tomorrow I'll actually travel to Washington DC for the Cyber Defense Initiative Conference. I'll be teaching the intrusion detection class. So if you happen to attend the conference, I'll have plenty of stickers with me to give away. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.